First reading A reading from the book of Genesis chapter 15 verse 1 to 6 and chapter 21 verse 1 to 3 After these things the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision Do not be afraid Abram I am your shield your reward shall be very great But Abram said O Lord God what will you give me for I continue childless and the heir of my house is Elisar of Damascus and Abram said you have given me no offspring and so a slave born in my house is to be my heir but the word of the lord came to him this man shall not be your heir no one but your very own issue shall be your heir he brought him outside and said look toward heaven and count the stars if you are able to count them Then he said to him So shall your descendants be and he believed the Lord and the Lord reckoned it to him as righteousness The Lord dealt with Sarah as he had said and the Lord did it for Sarah as he had promised Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the time of which God had spoken to him Abraham gave the name Isaac to his son whom sara bore him the word of the lord second reading a reading from the letter to the hebrews chapter 11 verses 8 11 to 12 and 17 to 19 it was faith that made abraham obey when god called him to go out to a country which god had promised to give him he left his own country without knowing where he was going it was faith that made abraham able to become a father even though he was too old and sara herself could not have children he trusted god to keep his promise though abraham was practically dead from this one man came as many descendants as there are stars in the sky as many as the numberless grains of sand on the sea shore it was faith that made abraham offer his son isaac as a sacrifice when god put abraham to the test abraham was the one to whom god had made the promise yet he was ready to offer his only son as a sacrifice god had said to him it is through isaac that you will have the descendants i promised The word of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters and my dear children Today is the feast of holy family. It's the feast of all of us, the children, the parents, and also the feast of the whole mother church. So wishing each other a great feast, let's read the day's gospel. A reading from the holy gospel according to St. Luke. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to jerusalem to present him to the lord as it's written in the law of the lord every first born male shall be designated as holy to the lord and they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the lord a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons now There was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, 
and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for the glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed so that inner thoughts of many will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was a great age, having lived with her husband seven years after marriage. Then as a widow to the age of 84, she never left the temple but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. This is the gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, and my dear children, I wish all of you a great feast today. Because today is the feast of Holy Family. Mother Mary, Joseph, and child Jesus. Dear brothers and sisters, we honor all the families today and also the family of God, the Holy Mother Church. What would have been the family of Jesus? Joseph, Mary, and child Jesus, then who became Jesus Christ. Well, that house, that home would have been a sacred place, a dwelling place of peace and unity. Well, all our families are of the same, I would say. We relate to each other. We are very close to each other. We talk to each other. We have fun between us. And there also can be moments where we disagree moments of disagreement, we work together, we eat together, and we are dealing, we can deal with our problems in the family. We too encounter so many problems in the family, dear brothers and sisters. We may also come across certain moments, mournful moments like losing a close relative of a family, like the family of Jesus who lost his father at very young age, St. Joseph. There can also be encountering misunderstandings, then also in the society, gossip from others. There had been, there could have been problems even in the family of Mary, Joseph and Jesus because Jesus as a child out of wedlock, there would have been problems but what reveals is God's love, God's concern for that family. Father, Heavenly Father, 
allowed that little family, that poor family, to give a divine son, his divine son, to live this life, to live this life in this earth, and then as a result, elevated all the families to a place where God so lovely would embrace and even elevated their own family, dear brothers and sisters, within the Trinity. So dear brothers and sisters, be strong in the family, pray together, live together. That is where you really can create the sacredness within your family life itself. Invite each other to share God's divine grace. Invite each other to encounter as a family and also individually the blessings and the graces of God, dear brothers and sisters. Live peacefully, live together, respect each other, listen to each other. Then we are, you really can see the holiness that is emerging in your family life, dear brothers and sisters. So once again, wishing all of you a great feast. May I wish all of you the graces of the Holy Spirit to be with you always, forever. Thank you. Sri Vachanaya.